for your eyewitness weather forecast. Name WeatherAid's most accurate forecast since 2008. Outdoor plans make them for this evening. It is still beautiful outside, and I would be shocked if we didn't see a gorgeous sunset to end it. Let's go to satellite and radar right now, where I'll show you we're not watching out for anything big, not even any clouds showing up on our satellite imagery here. So just something else to look forward to as you get out of the office, kick up your feet, maybe go sit outside on the patio in Treverton. It is beautiful. We see plenty of blue sky here, and we're at 81 very comfortable degrees with a light breeze to keep you just a little bit cooler. Nothing crazy as far as the wind goes here, but when the temperatures are slowly climbing down toward 80 degrees, it really does feel comfortable outside. The humidity hasn't quite kicked in just yet. It is a little more humid than the last few days, but really, it's not too bad when it comes down to it. As for tomorrow, if you are heading out to play a little golf, this is what you need to know. If you tee off around 1.30, you're going to be right in the low to mid 80s, so you're going to be nice and warm. I suggest you dress for that kind of weather, but also an umbrella is not a bad idea because if you do tee off at 1.30, like our tournament here, you are going to see potentially some showers and storms make their way into the area later in the day. In part, this is because of the extra humidity we will see build in, some extra moisture. Our dew point right now is 58 degrees. Our peak dew point tomorrow is 66. That's a more tropical feel, and we're going to see it later in the day. We get that moisture, we get some heat building in, and a little disturbance to the north of us, and we're looking at this. Nothing too crazy here, but you can see a couple spotty showers just building in there to the northern tier. Again, nothing to be too alarmed about, but if you keep an umbrella in the car, maybe just do, don't do anything too crazy or too out of the way in the late afternoon and early evening, and you'll be just fine. Again, just watching out for the chance of some pop-up showers and th thunderstorms as we move later into the day. As far as tomorrow night goes, if you have some plans to head out to the Rail Riders game, this is what you need to know. First pitch, 635. Again, we are watching out for some pop up showers and storms, but we're not looking at a washout here. We're not looking at a canceled game or anything like that. So don't worry, you can head out to the game. Seventh inning stretch, more of the same. And bottom of the ninth, still looking at the same kind of conditions here. A little more humid, cooling down slowly, but no sort of washout. Just a chance of a pop up shower or storm. I'll recap here, then I'll give you the rest of the week. We're looking at the mid 60s for your lows. Partly cloudy tonight, stays very mild, very nice. Outside. So, if you have any outdoor plans, don't worry, you can still grill out even into tonight. But as far as tomorrow goes, we start with plenty of sunshine, then we build that humidity and moisture in later, and then we start to see some chances of pop up showers and storms. The rest of the week, you see a few more days of the same, then a really strong cold front sweeps through on Tuesday, kind of clears us out afterwards, and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday look pretty good. By the